Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A one more tricky interview question in Java series. The question is here that this is a print method I have overloaded. Here you can see that these are the five methods I have written having the same name and different parameters here. You can see this is integer parameter. This is a wrapper class. This is int parameter. This is byte parameter. This is short parameter and this is long parameter, right? And then I'm creating the object of this class and then I'm calling uh, this particular any of the method by passing 10. So the question here is that which method will be called? So you pause the video and then write in the comment section that which method will be called? It will call the first one integer byte or short or long because byte is the shortest member in the integer family or uh, 10 is coming within the range of bytes. So it will call this guy or this one or preference will be given to the integer which method will be called here. Okay. So just pause the video and write the answer in the comment section. I'm going to run it and then I'm going to show you and then I'm going to explain you how exactly Java behaves here. So let's run this program and then run as a Java application. When you run this, it's giving you integer here. It means that which method is getting called? The 10 will be given to integer i and int. So answer is int over here. It will not call byte, short, long or integer. So by default, 10 will be considered as whenever you're writing a plain a numeric value, here by passing the 10 over here by default java will consider as an integer value and then it will be given to the int over here it will not consider as byte short or long or wrapper integer here if you really want to call let's see for example byte you have to explicitly typecast into a byte over here like this in the bracket okay so now which method will be called so first of all that this is 10 and we are typecasting into a byte and then now the byte method will be called so it means now this time it should call byte here so here you can see byte same thing if you really want to call short then you simple typecast explicitly into short and then the 10 will be converted into a short and then short will be printed same thing if you really want to print it with the long you can go with the long like this and then the long method will be called that's why it's printing long here for long what you can do uh, here we can just define we can tell the compiler that okay fine capital l or a small l also you can write it Explicitly, you can tell that, okay, yeah, this is a long number. Then this 10 L is a long number now because of capital L or small L. And then uh, the long number, long method will be called, the sprint long L, uh, uh, long I will be called and then long will be printed on the console. But what about the wrapper class that we have written? Same thing for the wrapper also. You just need to explicitly convert that into the wrapper integer class like this and now once you write it like that then you have to call the method now this 10 is converted into a wrapper class object like this and now it will not it's not a normal primitive data type like primitive 10 it will be given to as a wrapper a value and then it will be considered as a wrapper method i mean wrapper method will be called here and then it will print integer on the console here like this so I hope it's clear, but if you don't write anything here and by default, it will always be considered as 10 only. If you, let's see, if you are simply writing a long a number also like this, then which value will be called? Then it is calling integer only. Let's add some more numbers. Let's see, I'm adding some more and more numbers here like that. Now it's giving you error because it's going out of this particular range. And then it's saying that the literal uh, type int is out of range so you have to explicitly tell the okay fine this is capital l only now which method will be called so obviously we have denoted with the l so now the long method will be called because this number is a big long number now so automatically compiler will decide that okay yeah this method has to be called so this is called a method overloading don't get confused this is a very uh, simple tricky interview question people might ask you at a time of interview same method is overloaded from the same family types of data like integer byte short long along with one integer here as well i hope it's clear and then that's all for this particular video guys i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless